Hello, I am making a coat rack for the wall and I was just going to show you my process for attaching, measuring where the screw needs to go on this odd shaped piece. I still have yet to attach both of these. Here is where the other screws have gone. I am using a one and five eighths inch screw and a one and a quarter. To set the point for where the screw goes in the triangular piece, I am using these 5 8 inch wire brads. I have measured and marked the points for where the brads will go. So I'm going to go ahead and set those. For the wire brads, I just want them stable enough so that when I tap the triangle piece on top, they're not going to move. So you gotta eyeball and make sure those are centered and perpendicular. And you can just press the wood against the wire beads or you can tap it a little bit too, which kind of helps. All right, so now you can see there are indentions where the brads were. Now on the back of the board, I'm going to drill a larger hole just slightly in so I can inset the screw so the wood doesn't split where the screw enters. Now for drilling the pilot holes on this triangular piece, I need to know where it's going to be perpendicular when I drill. So I'm going to add some lines just so I can see. So this edge is going to be straight up and down with the board. I am right handed so I do need to draw it on this right side. So here are my guidelines. I'm keeping this drill tip shallow. I could mark it off with tape just so I know I'm not going to drill through this shortest part of the triangle. I'm just gonna estimate here. is looking good so far. So now I am ready to drill the screws into through the back. Here's another look at the back now that I've got a little bit of a larger hole at the entry. All right, so my screws are partially in and peeking out so I can align this piece. And I can also erase my pencil marks. That one is looking quite nice. So we've got one more to do. And there we have it. So attaching is just as stressful and as important as any other part of woodworking. So I am going to do a little bit more sanding on this, try to even up these bottom edges and see what I can do about this. 
Also make these a little bit more rounded so as coat hangers they're not too sharp. And other than that, on sanding I will be conditioning this before I use a walnut stain. Here's a look at the back side of this coat hanger. Super happy with how these insets turned out. We don't have any split wood and um, most importantly,